Hi viewers around the world. You've just tuned into Glory TV. Living in a changing world. With a changing people. With their changing times. With the constantly changing cultures. I am presenting the indescribable and changeable Christ. In my world, the supernatural is natural and nothing is impossible if you believe. In my world, you're going to have to be very careful what you think. Because thoughts become things. I'm Conrad Santa. And my talking point is captured right on your screen. How are you feeling? Do you feel that your life has been a history of disappointments, frustrations and tragedies, discouragement that never ends and the source is undiscernible? You have a sense of struggling against some enigmatic force that you cannot identify with your faculty of reasoning or perception. You are discombobulated, you are discontented, not knowing what is transpiring. Whether to turn to the left or to turn to the right, you just don't know what to do. Pure adventure, it's like nothing ever goes right for you. And giving up seems to be the only option that you have at your disposal right now. You experience events or situations for which you cannot identify the natural cause or logical reasons for their occurrence. Then you ask, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with my life? You ask all kinds of questions. Occasionally, it seems that there is some force at work not complying with the usual law of nature and you question God. You try to compare yourself with others. You sleep there in humble and emaciated weakness. You look to the left, you look to the right. You just don't know what to do. If that is you today, well, I got good news for you because the Bible declares in the book of John, the 16th chapter, the 33rd verse. These things have I spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. These were the words to perform the Lord Jesus Christ just talking to you. Wherever you are, whatever you're going through, remember, Jesus overcome the world, that you should have peace. He did not promise that we're going to get to heaven on roller skates. Yes, the journey sometimes is going to be a little bit harder, but we're going to have to continue going on without getting discouraged. So the first thing I want you to do, people of God, wherever you are right now, number one, do not get frustrated. Now, frustration is a feeling of being upset. Or annoyed especially because of an inability to change or achieve something so you feel frustrated but I want you to know something the Word of God declares in the book of Matthew the 11th chapter the 28th verse and the to the 29th verse it says then Jesus said come to me all of you who are weary and carrying heavy burdens, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find 
rest for your soul. In the book of Joshua, the first chapter, the ninth verse, the word of God says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and be courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So remember, people of God, no matter what is happening in your life, God is with you. Sometimes you might feel that is not there. But he's still there. Just because you don't see him with your optical eye doesn't mean he's not there. He's still there to help you out. So please, whatever is happening, focus on God. The third thing that I want you to do in these circumstances that you're going through, people of God, is that don't be angry or don't be annoyed. Anger is an emotion that is characterized by antagonism towards somebody or towards something. You feel that you feel like it's a deliberate feeling that you have inside you. You feel that something was not done right for you or something is not done and therefore you are so incensed. Whatever is happening, focus on God. It's only God that can take that away from you. The book of James chapter 1 verse 20 there says, For the wrath of man worketh not righteousness of God. So in other words, then wrath will simply lead you to sin. And when you sin, then the door that God is supposed to use to help you is totally closed, so be very careful with that. Then the fourth thing is that do not be disappointed. Do not let disappointment reign in your life. Disappointment is simply sadness or displeasure that is caused by a non-fulfillment of your hope or an expectation that you have. But what does the word of God say about that? In the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, there the word of God says, For I know the thoughts that I have for you towards you, saith the Lord, the thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So that means God wants to bless you if you can only trust him. And keep focus on him and don't get don't get worried in praying and seeking his face. You shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. And number five, do not let confusion come into your life. And it's confusion is simply discombobulation that you are not able to perceive what the situation is as you can't perceive of what is happening in a given situation and therefore now you're confused you don't know whether to turn to the left to turn to the right and therefore your reasoning it becomes limited you don't make the rightful decision but remember what the word of god says in the book of first corinthians chapter 14 and verse 33 the bible there says for god is not the author of confusion but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Remember, if it's confusion, it's not coming from God. Don't give up. To give up is simply that means you lose hope and you can't see the end anymore and you admit to the defeat, then you say, I'm done. But remember, quitters don't win and we not strong quit so don't give up whatever is happening god wants to do something special for you don't get discouraged keep on focusing to god and god's going to help you i'm conrad Sato. stay blessed we'll see you next time right here